evening. Good evening. Okay. Uh, as uh, as you have uh, known, my name is Mrs. Shaima Shaheen, and um, I am uh, I have been teaching English for twenty years up to now, and I have been teaching uh, the IGCSE curriculum for uh, both boards, Oxford and Cambridge, for ten years up to now. Um, and today I'm going to take you through the exam and how it looks like. And we're going to take one of the exams, one of the exercises, which is uh, the summary. But before I begin, I'd like to know a little bit about you. So I would like to know, uh, for example, which uh, whether you are grade 10, grade 9, which board are you going to sit for, and so on. Okay, let's start. Okay, who we'll starts introducing himself? This way. Okay, so when you are extended, year ten. Okay, so please uh, write your uh, from which country? Where are you going to sit for the exam? Mariam is extended year ten. Okay, all of you are Cambridge. Okay, Mariam uh, is from Kuwait. Just can I introduce myself? Yes. Okay. Um, Miss Arsene Nasrimir, um, I'm yes, I said Miss I'm from Cambridge. Um, actually, Miss I'm grade nine, so still okay. the exams are far, and I'm from Saudi Arabia at the moment. I'm Egyptian, but as a nice to meet you. Okay. Uh, okay. Who else would like to introduce himself? Somebody else? No volunteers. Excuse uh, can me? I introduce myself? Yes, okay, go my on. My name is Rahman Z. I'm from Al Bashir School. I'm from grade nine and I'm now living in Bashir. Now you're living in Egypt. Egypt, okay, from Bashir, okay. Nice to meet you, Abdurrahman. Nice to meet you. Uh, Ms. Shaime, Malish Mufi Chupi Shet, Bas? Yes, my dear. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, let's uh, just a minute. Okay, somebody else? Somebody else? I just want to know my students. So it seems here that most of you are in grade nine. You all of you are sitting for Cambridge exam. Okay, Mu'men, you are extended grade ten, and you are from United Arab Emirates. Okay. Miss, I will do the exam in, in the United Arab Emirates because I'm from Egypt. Okay, but you're living there. Okay, you'll do, you'll do the exam there. Okay. So it seems uh, here that most of you are a uh, board, right? So a very quick, uh, have you, I just want to know if you have seen the exam and how it looks like, what do you know about the exam? Do you know what, how many questions do we have in the exam? Do you know how many questions do you have uh, for the exam? Eight questions? Very weird, Dr. Rahman. We don't have eight questions in the exam. Mm. So let me take you very quickly through the exam and how it looks like. Okay. Salma, I have no idea. Here you are grade nine, Salma. Mm. <clears throat> Yes, Mu'min, the exam is six exercises, right. So how many times are you going to sit for the exam? Are you going to sit twice or once for the exam? For Cambridge, Dr. Rahman, you're not going to sit for four times. Yes, you mean the exam itself, four, four, 
three actually for the reading of the Rahman and two and three, three and three. Three reading, three writing, not four and two. Okay. So let's uh, go very quickly through the exam and I'll, I'll show you how. So have a look here. This is uh, the exam paper. Can you see the screen right now? Okay, where where I've just um, displayed the exam. So, and what is the difference? As most of you are year nine and ten, and they are uh, they all attend together. Is there a difference between paper uh, between students who are going to sit for the exam for year nine and very slight differences between them? So, if you have a look here, this is uh, the extended paper and how it looks like. Okay, I uh, Mu'min said that I think the paper six is speaking not you would do. <laughs> Mu'min, we have two papers for a year. Ten, we have paper two and paper four, and no paper six. Paper two and paper four. For the core syllabus, which is year nine, we have paper one and paper three. Okay. Yes, movement paper two is writing, paper two is listening. This is yes, right movement. Okay, so as you said, most of your answers were correct. We are going to sit for the exam once. Once uh, for the reading and writing, and this is paper two for the extended year, and paper one for the core. Okay, and then once more time for the listening which is paper four for the extended and paper one for the four. The duration is the difference between the two exam duration and very slight differences in size. So if we have a look at paper two, we're going to find out that it is for the reading and writing. Paper two is for the reading and writing, as you see here. Paper two is for the reading and writing. And the duration of this uh, paper is hours. As for the, again, it's for the reading and writing. And the duration is one hour and 30 mm -hmm. minutes. Okay, so these are the differences between the two papers. But are, are there any differences? There are slight differences in size. Okay, I'll show you the slight differences. Have a look. Uh, so three of the exercises are for the reading and other three are for the writing. So the first exercise is always the reading. As you see here, it is a reading text. No difference between or year nine, you would have the same text as those for the extended, the same paper, same thing, everything. The difference is the number of the questions. So if you have a look here, this is the exam for the extended text. You are going to have nine questions following the exam. The marks of this exercise is 13. You are going to receive the same questions. Question from till A are the same. What is the difference? Only exercise nine, uh, uh, question nine is difference. This is the only different question in both years. All the questions go in chronological order except for year nine, which is for. So if you are sitting for the course, so you're going to have the same exam as those who are sitting for the extended, except for the last questions. Any questions concerning this? This part? We can feel free to answer. Okay, let me see. 
So uh, this exercise is the same. Let's see, next exercise. Match making exercise. The same text again. Going to find four people speaking for the extended as for the core, they are only three. They are going number of questions again is the different. The same number, the same questions except for the last two questions. For year nine, you are going to have eight questions. For year 10, you're going to have 10 questions. Salma, I'm just going to take you through some of the exam and how it looks like. Salma asks the questions, are you going to solve some exercises? Yes, I'm just through. The, the exam material, slight differences between them. And then I'll take you through the uh, exercise number four, which is the beginning of the writing, which is uh, the summary exercise, and tell you, okay, Another question here. Okay, Alma. So let's uh, see what is uh, the difference again. This is again the uh, is a note taking exercise in which you are going to read the text and then answer some questions information again the slight difference is that this question is out of nine seven only of course the bullets are less but again the same questions then we're going to go to the this is the end of the reading by this and then we're going to move to the writing this is the beginning of the writing exam this is the summary in which you're going to have a text as you see here. That's what uh, I want you to see. You're going to have a text and you are going to summarize the text according to some questions, according to certain points the examiner needs. Okay? And then you're going to write within a word limit. What is the difference between the core and the extended is only the word limit here. As for the extended, the word limit is from 100 to 120 words. For the core, it is from 70 to 90 words. How many marks for this exercise? For the extended year, we have 16 marks. As for the core, we have 12. Have a look here. You will receive, for the extended, you will receive 8 marks for the content and another 8 marks for the Side or for the language. So, as for the core, you're going to receive six marks for the content and another six for the style or the structure. Okay, so this is the difference between the two exams. Still, exercise number five, we're going, we are going to go through it. Exercise number five is the beginning of uh, the, it is another writing exercise, but it is uh, the informal writing. So you have to go to know what is the difference in the formal and the informal writing, and what types of uh, informal writing do we have. And then the last exercise is exercise six, which is uh, the formal writing. Any questions so far concerning the exam? No, thank you. Ms. Any questions so far concerning the exam? Okay, so let me see. Okay, thank you, Mohamed. This is how the exam looks like. So when I started talking about the summary, I told you that what are the total marks for the summary, summary for the core? Can anybody remember? Do you remember the total marks? Yes, 
16 marks for the extended and 12 for the for the core. But I said that the marks are divided, content and language, content and structure. So it is very important to improve the structure, to improve our style of writing. So it is not a matter of finding the content only. This is how to be done, how to improve our structure. This is by what, what does the examiner need? Yes, Mommy says that we need eight for the ideas and eight for the marks. Excellent, yeah, Mommy. So how, what type of writing is the summary? Is it formal or is it informal writing? What about the summary? Is it formal or informal? You know, yes, it is formal writing. Okay, do you, do you know what uh, what are the aspects of what should I avoid doing? Yes, I want to know what are the aspects, what should I avoid if I am doing the, the formal writing? Can I use contractions, for example, if I'm writing in a formal style? In the summary, can I use the contractions? We do not use the, yes, we should avoid the, here Abdul Rahman writes in the chat that we cannot, he cannot use the contractions. Yes, what else? It, uh, we cannot use, um, of course, we do not have to write long introductions. We have to. Moment, I didn't get the point. You said that no abbreviation, it's okay, no idioms, it's okay, no contraction, but no conjunction. It is very weird. Yes, but we do Let not write our that personal. That? Uh, Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, we need the complex and compound sentence. Excellent. That's why before I start the summary for you, I want to use avoid simple structures. Yes, very nice. So that is the purpose of to tell you that I need to do what? I, do, I need to avoid contractions. I need the complex structure. And along with advanced vocabulary, yes, use your own word as far as possible. Is, yes, ask to use your own words as far as possible. So have a look here. This is, uh, this is number four in our exam. If I ask you to have a look here at the topic of the exercise, the heading, you are going to be asked, read the following article about the growing number of people who swim in ice cold water. Write a summary of the possible health benefit of this exercise, of this activity. So what am I going to write about? Am I going to summarize the whole text? Am I going to summarize the whole text? Mama dear. So uh, according to question, what type of benefits? What type of benefits? Health benefits. What am I going to find out the health benefits of this activity? Only health benefits. Okay. And what about the wealth within? Max. Max. The limit is 120. And have a look here have to use it is written use your own words as far as possible and this is important in this exercise how can i do it to use my own words as far as possible how can this be achieved how can i use my own words as far as possible 
by using what? Salma? Yes, Salma? Um, yes. Uh, yes, Miss. Uh, there's, um, Miss, yes. first we read the paragraph, okay, Miss? And um, we also um, uh, highlight the important parts. Then after we finish, we got, we um, write the important parts in, um, uh, in points. Then Miss, the, the main words, or the important words in each point, we change them in our own words, depending, it's better to be strong vocabulary, of course. Um, uh, Miss, we also um, uh, try to summarize it as, as much as possible, not writing stuff that, you know, like, isn't so crucial or important uh, for the reader, or, so he will get, so it will be as a, about 100, 120 words, no more. Excellent. So we have to paraphrase our ideas to use uh, advanced vocabulary. Yes, excellent. We have to paraphrase and be the point. That is what is needed. Because what will happen if I ex exceed the words? What will happen? Will the examiner continue reading? If I exceeded the word limit of the 120 words, the, yes, you will lose marks. So you will be asked here to find the, the health benefits of this activity. Health benefit of this activity. So how many points do I have to find? He didn't mention here that I have to find how many points, but I know that I received eight marks for the content. It means that I have eight health benefits for the extended and six for the four. And have a look here and another eight for the language. So if I, what would happen if I exceeded the word limit? And that is, I didn't try the content. So I will lose marks both content and language. So that's why we don't have to exceed the word limit. We have to make sure that the, the eight content are within the word limit, okay? So how can I do this? Is it then to, for example, to achieve the content? Content is, comes by practicing, but what about uh, the easy? To get the eight marks for the language? It needs a lot of practice of how about joining ideas together. I have to make so um, the idea be contrasting I the additional I so I will take you now through one of the ways to prove your writing. And then after we finish this rule, we are going to apply it to the summary. Through the, have a look here.
Okay. Uh, yes, I'm here. So I have a look here. So we are going to go through the structure, the grammar structure will help us to make our, our uh, summary concise, more concise, but this could not be done through one session. It needs lots and lots of uh, grammatical structures. So today I thought that, that I can help you with this grammar uh, lesson, which is not only, but also. And after we finish, we're going to apply it to the summary. Okay, so I'm just asking, when do I use this rule? Not only, but also. I know that many of you like this, uh, this structure, but unfortunately, you do not know how to use it. Yes, uh, Salma, again, you can answer, my dear. Thank you so much, Miss. Miss, um, I think the reason we use not only or and also, but also, you know, when you say um, two sentences that, for example, like the, the example, Miss, you gave down, he ate pizza, he ate pasta. We want to make the sentence not, you know, like the act, the, the subject and the verb not repeated a lot. So that's why we say in one sentence. That's, I think, the Yes. Thing. Yes, thank you. So instead of repeating the subject again, instead of repeating things again, we can use not only, but also. So I can use it when I want, for example, to join two adjectives. I want to, I can use it when I want to join two nouns, or if I want to join two verbs, instead of repeating it, this, if the person who does the two action is one person. So why do I have to repeat it and make it two sentences? I can join them into one. So have a look here. She's not only rich, but also famous. If you look for the example, she is thin, she is told. So how can I join it? I can join it by saying she is not also told. But I want, uh, I want you to have a look here. Where did I place not only? Did I place it after a verb to be or before a verb to be? Because this is very important. Where did I place not only? Yes. After verb to be. Thank you. So she is not only thin, but also tall. Have a look here. In this sentence, there is a mistake. Who can tell me what is the mistake in this sentence? In this sentence, there is a the answer. In my answer, there is a punctuation error. Who knows? Yes, where do I add the comma, Maya? Maya said that there is a comma missing. Where can I add it, Maya? Before the verb, which verb? I don't know why don't you use your mics? Yes, after thin. And before, but, yes, thank you. So here is the place of the comma. She is not only thin, but also tall. Thank you. But have the next sentence. He ate pizza, he ate pasta. These are two nouns. And now I can join these two more sentences as long as the subject is only one, which is he or Ahmed. I can join it using not only, but also again. But how can I do it? As you see the example, he ate not only pizza, but also pasta. And again, a comma is missing. So where did I place not only? After the verb or before the verb? Yes, thank you, Salma. After the verb. But what if I say, if I use not only before the verb, is it an error? Can I say he not only ate pizza, but also pasta? Can I say this? Do you agree with this? Salma? Salma says no, and then she says yes. Yes, you can. So I can use not only, but also, I can use not only. Here it comes after the verb. But if it comes before the verb, it's okay, except for the verb to be. 
verb to be only the not only comes after the verb so this is exception for verb to be but as for not only with any other verb it can come before or after no problem is it clear okay okay thank you so let's continue let's have a look Okay, have a look here. Yes, Tuta. Is this your real name, Tuta? You can use the mic, I said. Not only no men. This is an error which I'm going to talk about when I start my, my sentence by not only. This is an error which I'm just going to talk about. Wait a minute, a moment, and you will know the difference. So have a look here. He not only insulted her in front of her friends, but he also threatened to beat her. It is not a nickname. <laughs> it's a very nice name to that. So have a look here. She cleaned the house. She watched TV. I want somebody here to answer this sentence using not only. Mahmoud, Mohammed, Mahmoud al attar Yes, yeah, Mohammed. Yes, teacher. Assalamu uh, alaikum. I'm uh, a new student in the session and uh, I'm uh, from Egypt uh, and I wanted to know uh, what, uh, what uh, you teach a uh, teacher because I'm uh, still, I still joined now. You have just joined now. Okay, Mohammed. Yeah. You live in Egypt or somewhere else? Uh, I live in UAE. I live in UAE. Yes, uh, nice to meet you. So we have just uh, been through the exam and how it looks like. You are in which grade, Mohammed? I'm in grade 8 or year 9. How come? You are in both? Uh, no, uh, I said or. Or. I said or. Anyway, I know I know what does it mean, or, but I'm just asking. How come you are uh, in year eight or year nine? I didn't get it. No, I said grade eight, or you can say it year nine. Some schools okay. is with year and some with the grade. Ah, okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, so we are talking about year nine and year ten, whether the core or the extended the curriculum. So we have just been, Muhammad. we have just been through the exam and how it looks like. We are just here, uh, we, are, we are going to, today to talk about the summary, and this is the rule we are going to talk about today. Okay, we have, okay. Uh, we are just talking about the, how to do in sentence using not only but also. So I need somebody here, Maya, will you answer the sentence? She cleaned the house, she watched the TV. She not in the house, but also Maya? Watching... Maya, I can't hear you well. Will you please raise your voice? She not only cleaned the house, but Maya. also watched the TV. So Maya said she not only cleaned the house, but also watched TV. Okay, so Maya, you place not only, she not only. So you place the not only before cleaned, right? Can I place it after cleaned? Can I place it, can I say, she cleaned the house, but also watch TV? Yes, miss, thank you. So the exception only is for which rule? The exception is, the exception is only for verb to be. The exception is only for verb to be. I cannot place not only before verb to be. This is the exception. Okay, so let's uh, continue. As you said, she not only cleaned the house, but also watched TV. Okay, not only is used after verb to be. 
So the place was magnificent. It was safe. I need somebody else and a comma before but, right. And a comma before but, as, as we just said. So I need somebody here to join the sentence. The place was magnificent. It was safe. Salma? Um, uh, the, uh, the place was magnificent. Uh, sorry, the place was not only magnificent, but also safe. Thank you, Salma. And again, don't forget the, the comma before but. Okay, uh, I need uh, somebody else to answer the next one. Can I place uh, not only after was, uh, before was? Of course not. I need somebody else, as you said, correct. She is a good wife, she is a good mother. Will somebody help me to uh, join to these two Can sentences? I say yes, yeah, Muhammad. Yes, Mohammed, go on. Yes, okay. my dear. Uh, she's not only a good wife, but also a good mother. Thank you, my dear. So again, as, as Mohammed said, she's not, she is not only a good wife, but also a good mother. Thank you, my dear. Okay, have a look here. She speaks uh, English, she speaks French. Okay, I need somebody here. Who will answer Abdurrahman? Come on, Abdurrahman. Hi. No, she oh, needs Yes, my dear. Uh, no, no, no. I don't. I, I didn't, Mr. Abdurrahman. I didn't ask you to start the sentence using not only. I'm just talking about not only in the middle. So use not only in the middle. She. Um, Begin. Yes. Uh, she, uh, she, she not only, she not only speaks on. English, but she, she speaks French. Yes, but also, but also, but also she speaks French. But also, why do you repeat she again? Because I'm, do, I'm doing this because I don't want to repeat she. Oh, okay, I got it. And I'm doing this also because I don't, I, I don't need to repeat the speaks. I cannot repeat speaks. I can say she not only speaks English, but also. So I'm doing this because I don't need to repeat things. I'm doing this because I want to be as concise as possible. To be to limit my word limit, yani I don't want to exceed. So, Abdurrahman, can you understand what I want? Yes, this yes. is repeated, Abdurrahman. This is repeated, so I don't need to repeat things. Okay. She is repeated again. Speaks is repeated again, so I don't need to repeat this. So I will use it once. She not only speaks English, but also, but also. French. Yes, thank you, Madrahman. Is this the only way? Can anybody answer it in another way? So, Abdurrahman said, she not only speaks, he plays the not only before speaks. Muhammad? Yes, teacher. Yes, my dear. Uh, yeah, uh, there is another way. She speaks not only English, but also French. Thank you. Muhammad plays the not only after the verb. Okay, so this is a way when I'm not going to start my sentence using not only. Is there another rule? As you said, this, is, uh, this was your answers. Is there a difference when I want to start my sentence using not only yes there is a great difference that's why i said wait to know how do we start the sentence by not only after when i start my sentence using not only i have to use after not only auxiliary what do i mean by auxiliary can anybody tell me what do i mean by auxiliary 
I have to change it into verb. I have to change it into verb. So what are the auxiliaries? What are the helping verbs? So sorry, what's your, Who knows? Again? What's your question again, please? My question is, if I want to start my sentence using not only, I have to use auxiliary verb. The sentence does not go normally. It goes in the question form. So what are the auxiliary verbs? Can I try to answer? Okay, go on. Um, the auxiliary verbs, um, the auxiliary verbs, yes. Usually, you know, like comes with a main verb, and it also um adds functional and gra uh, grammatical meaning to the clause uh, in which it appears to. Yani, give me examples. Um, uh, one minute, please. Yes. For example, Miss, one minute, can you think about this? Yes. Um, he uh, was not uh, he, he not only um uh, 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 not only broke the glass but all uh, but also um, broke the television. Mm, but let's uh, wait and see. The auxiliary verbs have a look here. I'm going to tell you what are the auxiliary verbs. The auxiliary verbs are what we use to make a question. How do I make a question? Using what for the present simple, for example. We use do or does if I want to make a question, right? In the present simple. I use what for the past. What do I use for it to make a question in the past? I use did, right? If I have is or are, verb to be is or are or was. So I can form a question using is or are, is she happy? Are they, are they present today? Was she tired? This is how I form a question. And also I can say have, have you been there? Has, has she been tired? Had, can, could, shall, should. This is what do I mean by the auxiliary? The helping verbs. This what do I mean by the auxiliary? The helping verbs, which help me to form a question. So I cannot write not only without being followed by auxiliary. Okay, then the subject. I have to form a question for it. So if you have a look here at our sentence, she was not only sad, but also angry. So this is the normal rule. If I want to start my sentence using not only, how can I do it? What is not only? What is the, the verb here? Who can tell me what is the verb here in the sentence? Not only. She was not only sad. What is the verb? What is the verb here? Was. Was. Thank you. Yes, thank you. So not only, as I said, should be followed by auxiliary verb. So was here is an auxiliary. So not only was, and then the subject. So not only was she sad, comma, but also angry and complete the sentence. Did you get it? Is it clear? Yes, so this uh, rule, yes, this rule applies only when I start my sentence using not only. Because have a look here, this is a subject, a normal sentence, so I'm not going to do any inversion. We call this inversion, we are changing places. Okay, uh, let's go to the next question. They not only need yes. I'm so sorry, but not by did not understand. Not really, boys. I can't hear you. Uh, miss, I did not understand. Okay, so I said that if I want to start my sentence using not only, I have to use a verb after. What are the verbs that after not only? They can be one of these. Uh, can you see this group? Yes, can yes. you see this group of verbs? Yes. yes. 
So how do you form the question? Have a look here. She was not only sad. If you want to form a question from this sentence, she was not only sad. So you're going to do like this. Was she sad, right? Yes, miss. So this is what exactly we are doing. We are making it, are we changing it into a question. So not only was she sad, you are thinking it as if it is a question. Salma, are you the one speaking right now? Yes, yes. Uh, no, I was the one who was asking. Yes. Excuse me? Yes. Okay, Salma, okay, will you help me, Salma, to answer the following question? So, they not only need food, but also shelter. If I ask you here to, to answer using not only, so I'm going to write not only. I'll begin my sentence by not only. So, not only. Where is the auxiliary verb here? Do you mean by active verb, you mean uh, the verb itself? The verb, no, not the verb. I want to change it into question. I want to change it into question. How? Um, did, did hmm. I use did? Have a look here. This verb is in the present tense. The past tense of this verb is needed. This is in the, this verb is in the present. So how do I form a question in the present? Yes, so hmm. in the present, I will either use is, are, or did, right? No, my dear. In the present, if there is is in the question, you use it. If there is are, you use is or are. These are, you know, you consider them as a strong verbs. But have a look here as this is in the present. So if you want to form a question, in the present, you use do or does. In the present tense, is or are, we use do or does. Okay, Salma? Yes, yes. So, yes. Uh, so here. Excuse me. Not only. No, miss. Uh, yes, miss. Continue. What shall I write, Salma? Not only. What shall I write, my dear? Uh, miss. Not only huh? do they need food. Excellent. Not only do they need food, but also shelter. Also shelter. Excellent, Salma. Yes, excellent, my dear. So you understood what do I mean now? Yes, miss. Yes. Yes, miss, I did understand. Okay. Thank you, my dear. I want to and clear miss, the board. Uh, miss, do you yes. Miss, do you excuse me for a second. Okay. Thank you, miss. Okay, let's go to another example. Who can answer this one? Me, teacher. Okay. Just a minute, I want to open the chat to see who's talking. Okay, so why do I have the same people all the time, same participants? What about the others? Maya, where are you, Maya? You've been here a little bit yeah. before. Yes, my dear. Are you starting from up Arwa. Yes, I want to start by my own, not only. Yes. Not only did the war cause destruction, yes. but also caused hatred between the two Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, wait a minute. I want to write after you. I just want to write after you. So, come on. So, not only. This is not only. Right? This is not only, and then, and what about the, uh, the auxiliary, which I'm going to use? Did. Yeah. 
did. How did you know it is did? Because the word caused it is in the past. Caused. Caused is in the past. And now how, how do I form the question in the past? Using? Did. Thank you. So not only, and then the subject did the war. What am I going to write? Am I going to write caused again? Or am I going to write cause? Because I already referred to the past using did. What am I going to write? Cause only, excellent. Cause. So not only did the war cause destruction, yes. And then how can I continue the sentence? But also. Comma, but also, yes. Coast happened between do I have to repeat coast? Do I do I have to repeat coast again? No. No, we don't need to repeat coast again because we are doing this because we don't want to repeat things. But also hatred. Thank you, my dear. Thank yeah. you. So who will answer the next one? Me teacher. Just, just a minute. Okay, Iman, where are you, Iman? Iman, Iman al Kasabi. You're not there. Hey, can I answer? Yes, my dear. Nurai. Yes. Yes, my dear. So go on. Not also he read the book. No, no, no. But we say not only, not. Only. We are writing oh, using not, not only. Not only he read okay. the Give book. Me. I repeat. Allow me some time to write after you. Oh yeah, okay. I'm just going to write. Not only. Yes, my dear. Not, not only, only he read the book. Hmm? Just but a minute. What did he say? Not only what? Not only he read minute. the book. Not only what? Not only. I, what did I say? We say that not only is followed by auxiliary verb. Auxiliary. Where is the auxiliary here? He read the book. So how can I form the question, my dear? Not only he... You have to use was or where or is or oh, yeah. are or will or shall. These are the auxiliary verbs. How do I form a question? Imagine that this is a sentence and you want to form a question. How do you form a question here? If you want uh, to form a question. Did, uh, did he read the book? Thank you. So did he read the book? Thank you. So I'm going to use did because this is the auxiliary I'm looking for. So not only what? Not only not did only. he did yes, not only did he, he read, read the, book. the book, yes, but also comma, yes, but also he yes. remembered it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you, Norai. Who will answer the next one? He is rich, he is generous. Muhammad. Muhammad, you changed your name. Yes, it's uh, in it was, uh, Arabic. It was in yes, Arabic. Yes, I know it, it is. It was in Arabic. Come on, Muhammad. Yes. Go ahead. Not only. Uh, not Just only, allow me some time to write. Just yes. allow me some time to write. Not only yes. Uh, not only uh, was he rich. But also, From where, wait, wait a minute, here, Muhammad. Where is was? Where is was in this sentence? Not only is he rich. Thank you. Not only is he rich. Yes, comma. But but also. Yes. Uh, uh, he is generous. Thank you, my dear. Okay, I need somebody else. Where is Abdul Rahman? Did he leave the meeting because he was answering this uh, incorrect and I asked, I told him to wait to know the answer. Okay. 
see somebody writes in. Teacher <laughs> Norai. Okay. Go on. Norai, go on. Not only was it raining all day at the wedding. I thank you. Not only was it raining all day at the wedding. Yes. Continue. Also, the band was late. Thank you. But also the band was late. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All of you are excellent. Okay. Thank you. So still one sentence here and then we will go to the summary. Mm. Let's move. This is uh, they will paint the house. They will paint the outside of the house. They will paint the inside. I need somebody to answer this, ex this example. Mm. And shall I pick myself? Gusun. Where is Gusun? Osun, why don't you want, why you don't want to answer Osun? Abjumana. Hmm, come on everybody. Yes, Ms. Albar. Send me again. I know, Ms. I'm just saying I'm back. Okay. Uh, so who wants to answer this one? Liz, I can I answer? Mm, just a minute, I want um, to. Liz, can no. I answer? Okay, Liz, go on. She will answer in the chat after. Okay, go on. So not only come on. Go on. So, Miss, am I allowed to answer? Uh, yes, my dear. Answer? Yes, you can go on. Yes, my dear. Oh, okay. Um, will they paint? So not start... only will they. Yes, not only. Yes. Oh, okay. uh, Miss, there is someone sent the answer in the chat. So, where did you see the answer? No, I didn't uh, see the answer. Jumana. So, thank you, Jumana, you corrected the mistake. Thank you, my dear, because I would be very upset. Okay. So, okay, go continue. So, not only, and here is, this yeah, is what we call the Yeah, not only will they. Yeah. Yes, will. Only will, will they, they paint the outside house. Yes, comma. But, but also they will paint the inside. I don't have to repeat they will paint, but also the inside. Yes, thank you, but also the inside. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so this is one of the grammatical rules that would help us. It is not the rules, but as we go through our course, we're going to take um, some grammatical rules. This is to help us in case if there is addition, but uh, there is contrasting ideas, there is cause and effect, many things that would help us. But today I just thought about this grammatical uh, uh, rule and I thought that it would help us. Okay, let's have a look here. As we said, this is uh, the gram, this is the question as we have it in the exam. This is how we are going to see it in the exam. Read the following article about growing number of people who swim in ice cold water. On the opposite page, write a summary of the possible health benefit of this activity. Your summary should be, uh, should be about 100 words and not more. I just want to show you some tips for the summary and how do we have to answer the summary. Very quickly, I will go through the tips. So this is, as I said, this is form of writing. So no contracted forms, no mediums, no personalization. 
no phrasal verbs. Do you understand what do I mean by personalization? Um, what do I mean by personalization? Um, yes. Can I say it? Yes, go on. Uh, Miss personal, uh, personal, uh, personal, uh, personalization, sorry, um, uh, is um, like the simile and metaphor, but unlike them, is comparing something that's not human with a human. For example, um, the plants, uh, the plants dance in, dance in the wind. This is a, pers a personalization. But this is not what he is. You are talking about personalization, pers personification you're talking about personification in the poetry i'm just talking here about personalization which means i'm not going to talk about myself or any experience concerning me in the summary this is what i mean here by per no, no personalizing do not talk about things specifically related to you talk about things in general okay pro phrasal verbs no phrasal verbs what do i mean by phrasal verbs for example, when I say verb, phrasal verbs are verbs plus preposition. So I don't have to use this. A no chatty style, no humor, and so on. What about the plan, the marking yeah. plan? Yes. Uh, what is a, a chatty style? Chatty style is like when you're talking to a friend. Of course, when you're talking to a friend, you're going to say, I'm going to tell you today about, you don't have to say this. Um, uh, you don't have okay. to say, um, and so on. I'm going to tell you, I will, um, I'm going to show you, and so on. This is chatty style, and you don't have to use idioms. Okay. Let's see what is the plan for the core. We are again looking for grammatical accuracy in the style, as I said. If you are just going to copy, as I said, that half of the marks go for the content. Sometimes you can get the content, the content marks, and you're just copying it in the opposite page. Are you going to receive this, the mark? You're going to receive the mark for the content only. If you are just going to join by using very simple words, you're going to receive two out of six for the content, for the language. So what, how can I get three out of six? How can I uh, enhance my mark? I have to do a rewarding. Rewarding is like what we, you have just said, is paraphrasing the sentence. And then restructuring. Restructuring means you have to change the structure of the sentence. Finally, you have to be concise. In order to receive from five to six, you have to be concise. What do I mean by concise? To join ideas and group ideas together. Okay. Let's see for the extended, uh, again, grammatical accuracy and style. If you are just copying two out of eight, you are things is better, structuring is a little bit better and then finally the concise okay as we said you should write six ideas to receive the total marks for the content but here i want to ask a question if you are asked if you are asked to write eight content for example your question is asking about advantages and disadvantages and you got all the points in the advantages and you got nothing for the disadvantages, but you got eight for the advantages and nothing for the disadvantages. Are you going to receive the whole marks for the content? No, teacher. No, miss. No, miss. Yes, because by this, for the examiner, you did not fulfill the task. You did not cover the all ideas needed. So if you are asked to write for the advantages and disadvantages, you have to write eight or both of them. You can divide the eight back. Whether you write four and four, three or five, no problem. This is not a problem. But you have to cover both ideas. Okay? Again, the word limit is 90 words, which means for the core, you can write between 70 to 90. As for the, as for the extended from 100 to 120. So what is the first thing I'm going to do to pick the idea? 
do the rewarding, and then have a race. Okay, let's uh, take our exam and see. Pick the ideas, put them in sentence. Underline possible words to be changed. Write the changed words. And then change parts of speech, use conjunction, grouping, reorder ideas, and that's it. Okay? Have a look here. This is the exam, which we are going to apply all what we said up on. I just want you to have a look and to find the health benefits. I need eight points for the health benefits. But before we start, what do I mean by health benefits? Yes, there is no screen. No screen, just a minute. Yeah, teacher, it's stuck for me too. Okay, just a minute. Just this a minute. Is the Can you see now? now? This is the PowerPoint of the yes, I changed. I changed. Yeah, now it, um, uh, now it came. Ask a question. Yes. I just asked you a question. He is asking you here for the health benefits. What can I say? What about the health? What do I mean by health benefit? Do I mean emotional? Do I mean physical? Do I mean, I mean what do I mean by health benefit? Or both of them? Both of them. Yes. So have a look here. When you are asked about, when you are asked to write about anything, you have to rearrange ideas for yourself. Okay, I want you now, I will make, I will zoom in. I, I want you to try to see the health benefits here. And I want you to tell me whether this is a physical health or a mental health. Can you see the screen? Yes, miss. Okay, go ahead. Miss, you want us to read it? No, no, I just want you to find the ideas. Miss, uh, sorry, miss. Uh, uh, miss, uh, what ideas? For which topic or which points? My question, what was my question, my dear? I'm just looking for the health benefits. Health benefits. Have a look here. Miss, um, yes. Health benefit of this activity. This is my question. So I want you to read and to find the health benefit for this activity. You understood what I want? Can I please go down? Thank you so much. Okay. Miss, I, I don't think I understand what does like the... What, the, what my question is? Yeah. Okay. So this is a text. It is about the swimming. Okay, in cool ways, you're going to read and to find out what is the benefit of this exercise, of this activity. You got it or not yet? Oh, yeah, now I got it. So let's, you got it? Okay. So did you all understand what I want? Yes, miss. Okay. Okay, just a minute. I just want to make it bigger for you to see. And at the same time, I want you to... Can you see now? Yes. But I won't be able to show it to but you all, but when you finish, just tell me. Yes, oh, okay. my dear. Yes, I got an answer. Yes. Now, I want remember, we need eight points. We need eight points.
So like Miss, should I read the passage and then take out all the advantages of yes. the Yes. Yes. Okay. So let me do it for you. If it is not if it is that I did two No no it's two points. Uh, reading. Okay, go on. Yes. I found four points. Yes, you should have it too. Okay, let's see how what did you point. Let's see now. So if you go to uh, the first paragraph, come on. What did you find? To be honest, Miss, um, my four points are in the second paragraph and the fourth one. Okay, let's uh, so you have some, uh, you have an answer here? Um, okay, yes, I Arwa. Second paragraph. Okay, show me points. what you have. Um, okay, Miss. Um, one, two. I'll tell you the line right now. One, two, three, four, and uh, five. Miss, if you notice, I'm starting from line four. Helps to fight off colds and illnesses. This is one. Thank you. Yeah, so I got the. You. So fight off colds and illnesses. This is number one. Thank you. What else? Yes, I got an answer. Oh, okay, okay. okay. If you've got anything, you can write it down in the chat. Okay, Miss Arabina. Okay, Miss Um, miss, I wrote my answer in the chat. Um, teacher? Yes, 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 my dear. A sentence? So uh, yes. Um, I got a yes. sentence where I uh, mentioned is, the what? Which is, let me underline it. Miss, I wrote it in the chat. Okay. So, uh, Salma said, that it repairs and refreshes the whole body. Yes, correct, Selma. It uh, repairs and refreshes the whole body. Okay, so this is uh, your point. I will underline it. So this is number two. This is number two. Treat from depression. Excellent, Maya. But will you please tell me where did you find this here in the last paragraph? So let's say that this is number three. Yes. Actually, I did find one in paragraph two also. I sent okay. it for you privately. Thank you. So Selma said, again, recover from injuries. Okay, so this is number four. Yes. I'll write for you now the one I found in paragraph um, three. Uh, I mean four, sorry. Okay, but still a lot. Still, I need the eight. I remember. Okay, let's go to four. Yes, please. Uh, yes, I found Okay, it's because it's long. Can I say the line? Mm, okay, let's see, Maya. What Maya said that it boosts your mood. Thank you, Maya, and gives you optimistic uh, outlook. This is number five. Okay. Miss, my dear. Yes, okay. Miss, in the um, in paragraph four, I'm. Uh, health benefits. It helps me to forget an exact an anxiety and worries. Thank you. So it helps uh, to forget about the anxieties and worries. Okay. Um, teacher, I got some points, but 
they are the same as um, so let's as say that this is number six okay what are what is your point i wrote them in my own words mm, okay what are they but you shouldn't this is an next the next step at the beginning we're just the highlighting the ideas we're just picking up the ideas Later on, we're going to change. Okay. Also, Mr. Also, I this point in paragraph three. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. So I need the still two points are required. Fill up, uh, fill up uh, the body or fill the cell. Help uh, fill, where? Uh, fill it. Yeah, um, this helps the cells in the body to work better. It's the last yes. slide. So helps the cell to work better. Yes, so let's say that this is number seven, my dear. Hmm? Yeah, teacher, I so think the point. And this gives uh, their body some yeah. use to increasing cold. Still one, still one point. Yes, it's, um, hmm. it's um, in the third paragraph which no no is, it's in the fourth which is uh, the first uh, wait one two three it's in the third line this gives their bodies a chance to become used to the increasing cold so didn't we say this before when we talked about that it fights illnesses isn't it the, the same answer same yes oh, when okay. i say fight illnesses so this gives a chance to, um, as you said, to become used to increasing food. So here I'm Maya missing. got, yes, Maya because got the, Maya got the last point, which is invigorated the muscles with oxygen. By this, we got the eight marks for the content. But again, in order Where to you miss, make miss eight, points. eight points, yes. Now, where's the eighth point? Invigorates the muscle with oxygen. This is the eighth point. Oh, okay, miss. Okay. So, have a, have a look again here. We have to think again, to rethink. We have to think how to group our ideas together. While reading, we found that there are some physical and some emotional, right? So we have yeah, to mention these cool. things together and these things together. So what were the um, emotional? Um, the first three points, I uh, did. I wrote them in my own words. Can I say them? Okay. Diving into cold or icy water helps our body to recover from colds or illness, as well as it refreshes mm -hmm. the whole body. It helps us with recovering from injuries too. Okay, wait a minute and I'll tell you what's wrong with what you said. Okay, you are just lifting from the text, and this is what I do not need. Have a look here again. Let's go. I want a white word right now. Uh, miss, but um, Miss, hmm. shouldn't we after we finish the point? Should we, we shouldn't we rewrite them so to be like more organized, and it should be easier to summarize them in my own words. Excuse me. What should I do? Miss, I'm talking about the points we just found. Um, shouldn't we miss rewrite them in our own? Yes, know, that is exactly words? what I'm going to do right now. Oh. That is exactly what I'm just going to do right now. So I'm going to rewrite them. Just I want to clear the right word. Okay, so I want, to, if you can remember, if you can remember right now, have a look here, the points. So I'm going to uh, think at the beginning of the emotional and the physical. So what about uh, the emotional? Can you remember? Can any of you? Yes, I want you to remember, so just to remember. What, yes, you need the question, you need the text again. You need the text again. Um, teacher, I have the points, I guess, like... Just a minute, I'll get you the text again. I'll, I'll get you the text. Okay. Just a minute. 
I'll show you the text because, because I want to put them aside. I can't find it aside. I can't put it aside. So let me do it some another way because I can't put them aside. I don't know why. Okay, here is the text. Are you there? Are you there? Okay, yes. just very quickly, just very quickly tell me. Can you see the screen now? Yes, miss. Okay. So very quickly, I want just I want you to only to tell me what about the physical and the emotional. So here are the points we found together. Here are the points. So you said number one, you said invigorates the muscle with oxygen in this physical, or uh, this physical or uh, emotional. Um, invigorates physical. the muscle with oxygen. Physical. Physical, yeah. Okay, helps the cells and help the cell in the body to work better. Is this physical or emotional? Physical. Physical again. Okay, you said that it. Um, you said that it re helps uh, in the recovery from injuries. This is physical or emotional? Physical. Physical. Okay. Physical. Okay, treats uh, some forms of depression. This is. Physical. Emotional. Depression. Depression helps. Uh, yes. So yeah. Yeah. Emotional. Yes, it is emotional. Excellent. It is emotional. So let me write what you have just said. Let me write what you have just said. Okay, so um, I will write them down. So you said, you can see the screen right now? Yes, yes, we can. Yes. Okay, I, I, it is the whiteboard. Uh, no, miss, we can see only the paragraph. So in the emotional, so in the emotional you said, uh, treat some forms of depression, treats some forms of depression. This is what you've just said, some forms of depression, right? You said yes. that uh, in the physical, you mentioned you mentioned that uh, helps in the recovery of injury from injury helps in recovery from injury, right? Okay, uh, I will say and that you're going to tell me what shall I write it? Quite cold and thinness. What shall I write it? Emotional or physical? Um, physical, I guess. Yes. So fights cold. Fights cold and illness. Okay. Let's go. Repairs the body, refreshes the body. Physical. Physical again. So helps the Refreshes the body. This is physical again. Refreshes the body. Physical. Okay. You said uh, forget about anxieties and worries. Okay. Emotional. Anxieties, yes. 
this is emotional. Okay, invigorates muscle with oxygen. Physical. Physical. Yes, invigorates muscles with oxygen. Excellent, all of you with oxygen. Okay, so let's say it still helps cells in the body to work better. Emotional? Helps the cells to work better. Oh, 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 it's physical. Yes, helps the muscle, the cells to work better. Thank you. So this is again physical. Still, let's see here. What about uh, boost your, body, um, your mood or gives a more optimistic outlook? In emotional. Yes, so this is the last one gives uh, optimistic uh, outlook. Okay, so it, it wasn't mentioned, it wasn't mentioned in the question that you have to, to divide them or to group them into physical and emotional. But by practice, I understand what do I mean by health. It means something that there are things related to physical and there are things related to emotional. Okay, as you know that there is a word count and which is very important in this exercise, so I have to write only a topic sentence for this exercise. That's enough. A topic sentence is more than enough. What would be the topic sentence for this exercise? I want suggestions in the chat box for the topic sentence. We are talking about the advantages of uh, this exercise, which is um, swimming, ice cold water swimming. It was said like that. Can you remember swimming in cold water? It was like this, swimming in cold water. I want suggestions for the topic sentence. Can you write? Miss, I want something in the chat. Miss, can you please repeat the question? So, um, Selma, why did you write how to exceed an exam? I Miss, want you asked now... for a topic. No, I... just a minute. I'm asking not a topic, a topic sentence, a topic sentence for this exercise. I just want you to tell mm -hmm. me how, how, how am I going to go into the exercise? So here I got an answer from Maya. There are countless advantages of swimming in cold water. Thank you, Maya. I need something else. I miss, can I say them oral? Say what you want. Um, miss, I could say um, uh, we are going to mention the this, this disadvantage and advantage of uh, swimming in ice cold water, and then I mention immediately. So you are going to go very quickly uh, into because that's, um, Cause that's a summary. I, I know, I know, but just a little, Yeri. As uh, Maya wrote here, there are countless advantages of some swimming in cold water is not that bad, and she is again to the point. But this, I also said that I mentioned this advantage. Yes, uh, basically, I the know, only difference I, I said the points, you know. Yes, okay. Can I give you some suggestions? Sure, what about miss. cold water? If I want, if, if I want to change the word cold water, can I change it? It would be what cold water. Uh, freezing water or icy water. Excellent, excellent. So swimming, sw uh, uh, freezing water. If I want to write uh, anything else and instead of countless, or countless is okay, but if I want another thing instead of countless, infinite, it would be infinite, 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 uh, innumerable. And if I want to say another word instead of advantages, benefits, benefits, benefits. Yeah, exactly. Benefits or benefits or blessings right blessings, yes. benefits or blessings mm, yes so uh, all your suggestions are correct so let's uh, write your suggestions so let's see here as you have just said swimming would somebody tell me what to write so swimming swimming um, miss, are you writing something on the board? Yes, I'm just writing. Because um, for me, the screen is like still frozen. Frozen. Yes, frozen. Frozen screen. I mean, like. Yes, I understood. I understood your point. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, can you see now? Or not yet? Um, yes, you have a share screen. Uh, okay, now you are whiteboard. Here. I'm just sharing a whiteboard. I uh, miss not, nothing is visible for me. Same, miss. Okay, just a minute. What about now? I uh, guess absolutely, miss. Oh, okay. yes. Okay, so let's go on. So swimming, as you said, swimming in, go on. Swimming in, we change it. Uh, cold water into swimming in freezing, freezing water. excellent swimming in freezing water what let's continue has what countless you said countless and i changed the word advantages into benefits. Let's say blessings or benefits mm -hmm. for a head excellent Okay, so swimming in freezing water has countless blessings for health. Okay, so let's go away. Uh, there were, we are going to start by the physical, for example. Okay, so how can I introduce my point? Can anybody help me? How can you, uh, what please, Miss? Yeah. We are going now, we are going now to talk. We are going now to talk about the physical health, physical health blessings. So, okay. Miss, uh, mm -hmm. Miss, what can I write? Miss, yes. I can just not simply say um, there are benefits or, uh, or blessings uh, for freezing uh, uh, for um, freezing water for uh, I mean uh, cold water, and then I immediately write the benefits. Okay, go on. I, I want the physical, but I want to group the ideas. I want to show the examiner that I can understand and group my ideas. I know that there are physical and there are emotional. So uh, let's start for the physical blessings. For the physical. Because I want to show the examiner that I know that there are physical and emotional. Hmm. For the physical ones, hi, let's go on. Um, it helps us with the recovering from injuries. Let's see how we can join ideas together. What are the points that are equal to each other and to join them? Mm -hmm. So if I want now to join the idea, which is uh, fights cold, fight of cold and illnesses, refreshes the body. Uh, 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 Cover from injury and using an art. Hmm. Can you see the sentence again? Again. Okay, here are the three points which I want to join. Three points. So let's see how we can join. Uh, Recover from injuries. Recover. Oh, miss, and it also refreshes the whole body. Okay, refreshes the whole body. Okay, join these. Uh, these are three points. Mm -hmm. I want you to join them using not only refreshes the whole body. Come on. Can you uh, can you join them using not okay. only? Yes, go on. Freezing water not only recover from injuries, but also fight cold. Halas, we understood that we are talking about freezing water. So we are going to start our sentence using not only. So not only what? Can you remember what comes after not only when we start the sentence by not only? It cover from injuries. La, uh, who can tell me, who can remind me what comes after not only when I start with a sentence? A what verb. type of verb? Auxiliary verb. Yes. So not only what? Do it recover from injuries? Not only what? So how do I form the question? Remember that I need to form a question.
Ha, huh. if I want to form a question from this, so I have to use the, do, does, did, can, and so on. So not only what? Not only does. Excellent. Not only does it, yes, not only does it what? Uh, not only does it uh, fight. Okay, so fight cold. How, can I change fight cold? Um, miss, uh, fight fever. Fever is also cold. Fever is also cold. But what about uh, fight, fight here? Not uh, only, I, how can I change it? Can I find another synonym? Miss, you want another word for fight? Yes, I need another word for fight. Defeat. Can I, defeat. Okay. Or I can say protect. And Protective. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Not only does it defeat, any defeat, or let's say protect. Protect is more applicable. Not only does it protect you from fever, what else? How can I join the other one? But also help but you also recover from injuries. from injuries. Yeah. But also what? Miss, can we survive other word for recover? We survive. What? What is the other word for recover? Miss, I could say survive. Uh, that or um, heal or cure, maybe. Miss, can I say but also survive? Can I say survive? Survive what? From from survive um, instead injuries. of what? For instead of recovery. No, 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 no. It is not, uh, it doesn't fit here because survive means uh, to make you alive. So it doesn't here fit. But uh, somebody can. Somebody has just told me the answer, but I can't. Yeah, um, heal. Miss heal. heal or cure, uh, right? You said the answer? Let me Ma? see in the chat just. Yes. Ma? I said heal or cure. Is it correct? And I also said get yes, better. Yes, excellent. Yes, correct. Okay. So, but also heals or, as you said, cures yeah. injuries. Excellent. Heal or cures, yes, injuries. Thank you. So, I told you that not only can be used to, to join two ideas, but now here are three points. How can I join the third point in the same sentence? Miss, can I also, I miss, I should simply just say also. No, you can say coupled with, along with. Miss, um, also. Have a look here. We but not only ma so, you started not only. This is one idea. The second idea you wrote, but also, okay? Here I'm going to write the third idea. So I can write uh, along the whole with, body. coupled with, along with what? Along, along with, with what? Still, and still with the, the last idea, along with? Miss, you want another, another word for refresh? Yes, I need another word for refresh. Mm. Okay, um, uh, maybe, um, uh, what say is we the start... verb from refresh? What is the verb uh, from refresh? This, uh, we start with the body, is... it is not a computer. Miss, I have a word, another, another word for refresh, um, it's revive. Uh, miss? Revive? Yes. Revive? I will think. What is survive? No, re with the armis. Revitalize, you mean? Revitalize, you mean? I'll revitalize? Miss, I write for you that chat. Oh, Miss, can we also revive. write uh, cool okay. the whole body? Miss, I write cool. the chat. Miss, can we also write cool the whole body? Miss, is my answer correct? Okay. Okay, what did he say, my dear? Yes. Cool the whole body. Huh. This was my cool. answer. And I'm talking about, yes, my dear, yes, yes, I'm. Okay. 
cool so in the whole body. The, it's cool, cool. No, I don't think it doesn't fit. I wrote and it again, in the chat. Want advanced vocabulary. Okay, but I need advanced vocabulary, Salma. I need a, um, I need more complicated word. So it is time for practice. So we need to oh, enhance my... our vocabulary. Yes. Can we also write, uh, for example, maybe restore? Restore our, mm. like, restore the whole that body. again, restore, I cannot say, restore the body. Restore the body? Oh, re it, yeah, restore the body. Mm, okay, revitalize. Okay, so now I want to introduce this word, which is instead of refresh, revitalize, because I want you to enrich your vocabulary. Okay, revitalize what? Revitalize the whole body. How can I change the word whole? Could be what? This can say simply all. Is. Miss all or yes or the entire body, right? Ah, uh, yes, miss. The yeah. Or the entire yes, the entire body. Thank you. Okay, let's imagine now that we have finished uh, these, uh, the physical, and we want to move from the to the emotional. How can I move? Is miss, there a transition sentence? Yes. Miss, I could simply just, you know, like um, go a little bit direct and say um, also from the benefits, uh, sorry, from uh, the ice benefits, from the ice, from the freezing uh, water benefits as, um, uh, sorry, Miss, uh, Mrs. Physical and what? Physical and emotional. Yes, uh, going from, uh, from benefits of physical to emotional. And then I start simply saying them. Um, Miss, okay. can I say yes. my answer? Okay, my dear. Go on. Um, we can also say moreover or for furthermore. Mm, okay, furthermore what? Uh, furthermore, uh, the benefits. Yeah, and then like I mean, like we should we can start. So I'll come back. So Maya said. Maya said, in addition, there are also emotional benefits. But if you wrote the word benefits before, you don't have to repeat it. You have to change. If you wrote it before, you can write the blessing this time, advantages, something else. Thank you, Maya. Okay, I have a suggestion for you because I want you to to in to to use more complicated uh, structures. So I can start my sentence using having having stated having stated the physical advantages having stated the physical advantages there are the what um the the also emotional there are the emotional ones and then i'm going to state them all the emotional ones. Exactly. Okay, and then I am going to repeat not only, but in the exam, I don't want you to repeat not only again. We are going to, you have to use another structure. But today, as we are making focus on this rule, so I want you to repeat the, the rule here because we are repeating, we are just practicing the rule, okay? Um, teacher, can you give us like another example? For what? Um, for, for uh, like for another example, like uh, other than not only. To join sentence, you mean? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so um, we have not to mention the fact that if you want to add another idea. You can say, not to mention the fact that, you can say, uh, in addition to, furthermore, moreover, all these yeah, are this, for addition. This, um, this was um, what I meant, like I said, when I said furthermore or moreover, this yes, is Yes, yes, my dear. But I'm just, uh, I, I'm just, today we are practicing something. We are practicing okay. how to do in things together, how to join them in one sentence only. You got it, my dear? Yes, miss. 
Okay, so what about the emotional? I'm just going to write down the emotional. We said that, can you remember the emotional? Number one. Miss, can you um, go back to the paragraph? I'm just going to write them here and we are going to join. I'm just going to, um, to write them. We already wrote them before. So it can, let's say, uh, treat depression, treat some uh, depression. This is what you have just said, treat some depression. Number two, you said that it um, helps you forget about your anxiety, forget about itis. Number three, you said that it uh, boosts your mood. Okay, so now I want to join these three ideas together, boost your mood. Come on, who can help me to join the ideas together? I want, to, I want you to write in the chat, everyone, how to join the three ideas together. I'm just going to work with you on the adjective, uh, on the synonyms. So let's say, what about depression? Can I change depression? Oh, I want uh, suggestions uh, for depression. Synonym for depression? Yes, synonym for depression could be? Illness, maybe? No, depression. Depression means? Sadness, unhappy. Miss Sadness. Unhappy. Or Sadness. Uh, or feeling blue. Miss okay, feeling but blue is an blue. idiom. Excellent. It's an idiom, yes. Okay, so we can say uh, depression means sadness, gloominess. Mm, right. Maybe tiredness. Yes. I... What about tiredness is uh, related to exhaustion? No. Okay, mm, let's go. Forget about anxieties. What about the word anxieties? Can I change it? And anxiety is, uh, let's say, waters, right? Miss, can we say eagerness? Eagerness, no. Eager when you are eager to do something, you are enthusiastic and you want it. Okay, what about boost your mood if you want to change it? It could be what? Miss, can we say concern? Concerns, yes. For anxieties, you mean? Oh, yeah. Yes, concerns. Yes. So what about boost your mood? Can we I can change say, it? We can say for boost your mood, we can say back up. Back up. Back up what? Hmm. So let's say lift your spirit, lift your spirit up. Lift your spirit up. So by this, I have changed the, the, the words. I have just changed the words. I want you back to join these three ideas using an art only, but also in the chat box. Come on, everybody. I want you to okay. join the three ideas using not only, but also in the chat box. You can understand my question or not? You can get my, what I want? So, Ms. the first point, um, it um, treats, um, Sadness and the second point, uh, we uh, it helps us forget about our concerns. The third point is boosts it boosts our which we change it into lift your spirits, so lift, lift our spirits or your spirit. Okay. okay, I want you to join them together, join the ideas together using not only but also in the chat box.
I don't need to receive any answer. Um, Miss, I'm actually noting it down in uh, my uh, notebook, and then I'm gonna uh, maybe like send you in the chat. Okay, Miss. Excuse me, your voice was lagging, my dear. I didn't get it. What did you say? Oh, I mean that I note it down in a rough notebook, and then I will send it to you in the chat. Okay. Oh. Okay, come on, everybody. I need your answers. The man, Ottawa, I need the answers. Come on. Not only remember when I start my sentence to use auxiliary, come on. Not only what? Yes. Teacher? Um, no, no, never mind. Yes. So I've received Maya's answer. Okay, but uh, Maya? You, you've got the mistake that in the second sentence, you have to add forget, not forget. forget um, Miss, can you please um, help in the first part? Like, I mean, the, the part where we say um, it does not only this part, I repeat. So not again. only, so let, let's see here. Not only what, what is the first sentence? Treat some depression, okay? This is the first sentence. So how do I form the question from this? It does it, right? This is how I form the question. Does it treat and so on? So if I write it down, not only, it will be what? Not only what? Oh, uh, I got another uh, answer not here. Only I got, like, I made a mistake where I, I wrote it does not only. Excellent premise. Remiss, excellent. Excuse me, what, what was your question, my dear? Not only what? Oh no, miss, I was just saying that I did a mistake. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the others. Uh, miss, can I say my answer? Yes, Naray. Not so only that. My dear, because your friends are writing. Oh, okay, Mr. Naray, your friends are writing down the answers. Sorry, sorry. Okay, my dear. Okay, write it down, write it down. Remember that after an art, we have to add question, word, or auxiliary. Teacher? Do, does, did. I'm talking about swimming, so not only. Yes. Yes. So uh, let's uh, do it together. Who can help me? Teacher, I'm sorry, but I was unable to write it in the chat because um, for some reason, um, I just struggled to type in the words because my keyboard, it has a problem. So I barely... Uh, okay, so I need somebody... Okay, no problem, my dear. So I need somebody here to tell me what to write. So not only I want to form the question, as we have just said, that we are out of form the question does. So, question words does.
Come on, everybody. What's wrong? Why don't you answer? Can I say? Yes. Yeah. So not only, only does it does it treat uh, sadness, but also treat. But also so it So you remove the, 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 the treat. Mysterious. So when it's any other sadness, comma, but also what? But also, but also um, what? it lifts our spirits. Lifts our spirits. Okay, and if I want to add the, the the third point, how can I add it? Um, can we write as well as? As well as, excellent. As well as, yes. As well as it helps us forget about our concerns as well as its ability let's say because we want to change its uh, ability to what mm -hmm. um to uh, ability to forget our concerns forget our, our concerns. concerns so as you see, summary is not an easy task. It needs lots and lots of practice. However, you can, by practice, you can understand how to join ideas, how to find synonyms, how to, uh, how to group your ideas, and so on. Okay? So it needs practice and practice. Okay? Any questions so far? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. Any, any questions? Any questions so far? بنشكر حضرتك جدا جدا مس شيماء على وقت حضرتك والسيشن كانت ممتازة وإن شاء الله خير وحضرتك ما شاء الله يعني مس ممتازة طبعا والطلبة أكيد استمتعوا متفاعلين ما شاء الله شكرا السلام عليكم حضرتك مع السلامة